All right, guys, I've got another hopefully quick video for y'all today about uh, trail camera security. Now, this could be on public land or, or on your private land. I've, uh, I've actually done a video in the past on the same topic where I used just some cable, um, crimp some loops in the end, and then I used just, you know, those cable gun locks to actually lock the camera to the tree. That works out really well, and I have a bunch of those. But the problem is, is keeping up with keys because they're all, none of them are key to like. Um, and, and I take that back. I do have some that are key to like, but they, they still cost money. Um, so I was looking for something that was cheaper, easier, where you could do a whole bunch of these. And I've, I've come up with something that I think is going to work pretty well. Um, now it's not foolproof but neither is the other method. If somebody just has some cable cutters, they can just snip your cable and take your camera and there you go. But for this method, you're gonna need some cable. I'm using the same uh, that I used in the previous video. This is 330 seconds uh, galvanized cable. You're gonna need some um, little crimp deals for the ends. You'll need something to cut your cable with and something to crimp your crimps. All right, and then I, I have here is a five inch quarter 20 um, quarter inch bolt along with two fender washers and a stop nut that has a nylon washer so that you have to install it with a wrench and you can't take it off by hand. Okay, and then I have already made up my cable. So what you want to do is, is you want to make little bitty loops on both ends that will slide over the bolt, but can't go past the fender washer. Okay. So then when you get to the field, what you're going to do is you take your take your one fender washer off and your nut off of your your bolt. Slide one end of your cable on. Take your trail camera. It works really good on these cameras that have um, the integrated Python lock latch in the door. You just slide it through there like that. And you put your other end of your cable on your bolt. Bender washer. And then finally your lock nut. And you'll have to carry some tools to get this lock nut on there pretty good. Um, but I mean, once that's there, like, unless someone has, you know, a couple of wrenches um, or some way to cut your cable, like they're, they're not going to be able to take it. And odds are they're not going to come back with the tools to, to get it. So this is, I think, a pretty secure way to keep your trail camera safe and it's cheap. It's easy. Anyone can do it. And if it's a... Uh, what one of these door cameras it actually works better than a python lock because it's a very rigid um, connection you can't even fudge that you know sometimes with a small diameter cable that's run through here you can still like force that door open and get in there and steal the sd card but with this they cannot get that door open unless they take this bolt apart so i think it's going to be a pretty pretty good option for um for some of y'all out there running cameras on public land or private i mean it's a great alternative to Python locks because them things are expensive. Um, and unless you buy them in big packs, you're gonna have a lot of keys. Um, you know, that other method, my previous video, I'll link below, that's still a really good option, but you still have to keep up with all those locks. So anyway, it's still our option. I'll, we'll take this thing outside and we'll get it attached to a tree and uh, just kind of show you how that works. All right, guys, so I've got this thing out on the tree and you can see here kind of how it works. I've got that cable. So the other side of that fender washer, there is no way to get that off. Same thing on this side. There is no way to get that off. Now this is a five inch bolt. I mean, a four inch would have probably done just fine. So, you know, and depending on what kind of cameras you're using, um, you may want a smaller bolt, but this is all I needed to put it on the tree, take it off. I don't have to carry, I don't have to carry a whole bunch of keys. I just need to carry these two tools and I can put that on there. And there is absolutely no way, you know, 
hard to hold this and twist at the same time. There's no way you can get that nut off by your hand. So someone's either gonna have to come back with tools or they're gonna have to cut your cable, which they could do that anyway. So I think it's a pretty good option, it's cheap. Um, I'll link to the stuff you need down below. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate you checking this out. Um, if you liked the video, you know, hit that like button, uh, subscribe. The subscribing is really what helps me out right now. So, but I, I really appreciate it. And, and, uh, hope y'all luck this season, get out there, put some cameras out, find some deer and then, you know, get ready to go chase them. It'll be here before you know it. So I appreciate y'all and hope you have a great day.